everyone and welcome back to the AMAC. On today's show I'm going to do a devotional reading. I know it's already um, early Wednesday morning but this is a devotional reading from this past Sunday and I just wanted to make sure that I did I get this in because these devotional readings are so very important and really the foundation of the channel. Okay, and it's going to be from Acts 27, 44. And I'm going to go ahead and start the reading. The rest were to get there on planks or on pieces of the ship. In this way, everyone reach land in safety. Acts 27, 44. The, mir the miraculous story of Paul's voyage to Rome with its trials and triumphs. It is a wonderful example of the light and the darkness through the journey of faith of human life and the most remarkable part of the journey is the difficult and narrow places that are interspersed with God's extraordinary providence and intervention. It is a common misconception that the Christian walk of faith is strewn with flowers and that when God intervenes in the lives of his people he does so in such a wonderful way as to always lift us out of our difficult surroundings an actual fact However, the real experience is quite the opposite, and the message of the Bible is one of alternating trials and triumphs in the lives of a great cloud of witnesses. Hebrews 12, 1. Everyone from Abel to the last martyr. Paul, more than anyone else, is an example of how much a child of God can suffer without being defeated or broken in spirit because of his testimony given in Damascus. He was hunted down by persecutors and forced to flee for his life. Yet, we see no heavenly chariot, amid lightning, bolts of fire, coming to rescue the holy apostle from the hands of his enemies. God instead worked a simple way of escape for Paul. His followers took him by night and lowered him in a basket through an opening in the wall, Acts 9.25. Yes, he was in an, an old clothes basket like a bundle of laundry or groceries. The servant of the Lord, Jesus Christ, was lowered from a window over the wall of Damascus and in a humble way escaped the hatred of his foes. Later, we find him languishing for four months in lonely dungeons telling of his sleepless nights and hunger. 2 Corinthians 6, 5 Of being deserted by friends 
and of his brutal, humiliating beatings. And even after God promised to deliver him, we see him left for days to toss upon a stormy sea and compelled to protect a treacherous sailor. And finally, once his deliverance comes, it is not by the way of some heavenly ship sailing from the skies to rescue this Ill illustrious, illustrious prisoner, sorry. Nor is there an angel who comes walking on the water to steal the raging sea. There is no supernatural sign at all of surpassing greatness being carried out. For one man is required to grab a piece of the mass to survive. Another a floating timber, another a small fragment of the shipwreck, and yet another is forced to swim for his life. In this account, we also find God's pattern for our, for our own lives. It is meant to be good news to those who live in this everyday world in ordinary surroundings and who face thousands of ordinary situations which must be met in completely ordinary ways. God's promises and His providence do not lift us from the world of common sense and everyday trials. For it is through these very things that our faith is perfected. And it is in this world that God loves to interweave the golden threads of the love with the twists and turns of our common everyday experiences from hand places in the way of faith. Well, that was another wonderful devotional. They all are amazing. And I hope you enjoy these devotional readings, everyone. And stay tuned for another devotional later on um, for this week. And I hope you all have been doing well out there. And stay tuned for some upcoming announcements, especially since we didn't finish our Christmas in July series on the manger scene tutorial. So we're going to be uh, putting that off actually until maybe around October or so. And pretty soon we're going to be wrapping up the whole summer series. But while we still have this warmer weather, I am trying to get in as many of the Art of Mother Nature series in on the channel and stay tuned for uh, the upcoming announcements and I want to um, there was a tragedy this summer and I still would like to talk about that when I feel more comfortable everyone and um, a couple tragic things that have happened to me physically and nothing to worry about. I'm putting it, I'm putting all my trust in Jesus and it's all going to be okay, everyone. And um, as always, everyone, and until we all meet again, may God bless you and God keep you.